A philosopher who redefined our understanding of knowledge, Jean-Francois Lyotard, takes center stage today. Welcome to the realm of postmodernism, where traditional structures and ideologies are questioned and often deconstructed. Jean-Francois Lyotard, a French philosopher and sociologist, is one of the most influential figures in this intellectual movement. Lyotard's work is vast, but today we'll focus on his seminal text, The Postmodern Condition. Published in 1979, this work challenges the then-dominant narratives of progress and liberation, proposing instead a world where knowledge is fragmented and decentralized. Lyotard argues that in the postmodern era, grand, overarching narratives or meta-narratives become less significant, giving way to smaller, localized, petit narratives. His philosophy has sparked debates and discussions, reshaping our understanding of knowledge, power, and the role of narratives in society. So buckle up as we delve into the complex world of Lyotard and his postmodern condition. The postmodern condition, a report on knowledge, but what does that mean? Let's delve into it. Picture this, a world where grand, overarching narratives no longer hold sway. Instead, we find ourselves in a landscape dotted with smaller, localized narratives, or language games, as Lyotard calls them. This is the premise of Lyotard's The Postmodern Condition, an exploration of the shift from the modern to the postmodern era. In the modern era, grand narratives like the Enlightenment's promise of human progress through reason or the Marxist vision of a classless society dominated our understanding of the world. They provided a comprehensive view, a single lens through which we could interpret and make sense of our experiences. However, Lyotard argues that these grand narratives have lost their credibility. They no longer serve as the ultimate truth, Instead, he proposes that we have entered the postmodern era, characterized by incredulity towards metanarratives. This incredulity is a result of the realization that such narratives are limited and exclusionary, unable to capture the multiplicity of human experience. In place of grand narratives, Lyotard introduces language games. These are localized narratives specific to particular communities or contexts. They offer multiple perspectives, allowing for a more inclusive understanding of the world. Each language game has its own rules and logic and no single game can claim superiority over others. Lyotard's The Postmodern Condition is thus a critique of the grand narratives that have dominated Western thought. It challenges the notion that there is a single, universal truth or method to understanding the world. Instead, it advocates for acknowledging the diversity of human experience and the multiplicity of truths. This shift from grand narratives to language games signifies a shift in our understanding of knowledge itself. Knowledge is no longer seen as objective and universal, but rather, it is contextual and contingent on specific circumstances. With this understanding, we delve deeper into the literary analysis of this fascinating work. Meta-narratives, the universal truths, the big stories, but Lyotard says no more. Imagine it, a world where the overarching stories that have defined societies, the narratives that have shaped our understanding of the world, are losing their stronghold. This is the world that Jean-Francois Lyotard introduces us to, a world where grand ideologies or meta-narratives are in decline. In the past, meta-narratives have played a crucial role in shaping societies and cultures. They've been the guiding forces, the collective stories we've told ourselves to make sense of the world. They've given us a sense of identity, purpose, and direction. But according to Lyotard, these grand narratives are losing their power. Why? Because they've failed to deliver on their promises. They've left us disillusioned, questioning the very foundations upon which our societies have been built. They've been exposed for their limitations, their inability to fully account for the complexities of the human experience. Lyotard's postmodern world is one where these grand narratives are replaced by smaller local narratives, or petit narratives as he calls them. These smaller stories, instead of trying to explain everything, focus on the specific, the local, the individual. They're humble in their ambitions, comfortable in their limitations. In a world dominated by meta-narratives, there's often a singular truth, a single reality that everyone is expected to adhere to. But in a world of petite narratives, multiple truths coexist. There's room for diversity, for different perspectives, for different ways of understanding the world. And that's the beauty of Lyotard's postmodern world. It's a world that embraces complexity instead of shying away from it. It's a world that values the individual experience, the local story, as much as the grand narrative. But it's also a world that can feel unsettling, disorienting even. Without the comfort of grand narratives, we're left to navigate the complexities of the world on our own, guided by our own narratives, our own truths. A world without grand narratives? Quite a thought, isn't it? In the absence of big stories, we find solace in the small ones, the petit narratives. 
So enters the second major point of Jean-Francois Lyotard's work, the rise of petit narratives. As grand narratives lose their grounding, the stage is set for a new kind of storytelling. These are the petit narratives, the small personal stories that each individual or group holds dear. They are the tales that may seem insignificant in the grand scheme of things, but for the ones experiencing them, they are the world. Lyotard's postmodern condition sees these narratives as more than just stories. They're fragments of our identities, the threads that weave together the fabric of our existence. They're the melodies that play in the background of our lives, each note resounding with its own unique significance. In the vast, complex tapestry of the postmodern world, these petite narratives provide a sense of direction, a way to navigate through the chaos. They offer a sense of belonging, a point of connection in a world shrouded in multiplicity and difference. Petite narratives have a unique power. Unlike grand narratives, they don't seek to homogenize or generalize. Instead, they revel in the particular, the specific, the individual. They don't impose a single truth, but rather celebrate a multitude of truths. They provide a space for voices that were previously drowned out by the grand narratives, allowing for a richer, more diverse discourse. But these narratives are not without their challenges. As they rise, they must contend with the remnants of the grand narratives, the ingrained ideologies and power structures that still hold sway. They must also navigate the complexities and contradictions inherent in their multiplicity. Yet, it is through these challenges that they gain their strength, their resilience, their ability to adapt and evolve. And so, Lyotard's postmodern condition doesn't just mark the death of grand narratives, but also the birth of the petite ones. It's a shift from the singular to the plural, from the universal to the individual, from the centered to the dispersed. So it seems in the postmodern world, every small story counts. Knowledge a tool of power or a tool for liberation, Lyotard gives us a fresh perspective. In the postmodern world as Lyotard sees it, knowledge undergoes a profound transformation. It's no longer the lofty pursuit of truth or wisdom but becomes a commodity, a product to be bought and sold. This is the capitalist society we live in, where everything has a price tag, even knowledge. Lyotard paints a picture of knowledge in the postmodern society as fragmented, decentralized, and closely tied to power. It's no longer about grand theories or universal truths, but practical, usable information. Knowledge is now a utility, a means to an end, and that end is often power and control. It's a currency that can be traded, a resource that can be exploited. But what does this mean for us, for society at large? It means that knowledge, in the postmodern condition, is not neutral. It's not just about facts and figures, but about who controls those facts, who decides what knowledge is valuable and what isn't. This commodification of knowledge creates a power dynamic, a disparity between those who have access to knowledge and those who don't. Yet Lyotard also suggests that this commodification of knowledge can be a liberating force. It can empower individuals, giving them the tools to challenge the status quo, to question authority, to forge their own narratives. This is the double-edged sword of knowledge in the postmodern condition. In Lyotard's world, knowledge is a complex and multifaceted entity. It's a tool for power, a means for liberation, a commodity to be traded, and a weapon to be wielded. It's a reflection of our postmodern condition, a mirror held up to our fragmented, decentralized, and commodified society. So, we must ask ourselves, how do we navigate this new landscape of knowledge? How do we ensure that knowledge remains a tool for liberation and not just a tool of power? How do we reclaim knowledge as a pursuit of truth and not just a commodity to be bought and sold? Knowledge, in the postmodern condition, is a double-edged sword. Eliotard's The Postmodern Condition is a complex, thought-provoking work that challenges our understanding of the world. As we reach the conclusion of this analysis, let's revisit the key points. Lyotard's seminal work redefines our understanding of grand narratives or meta-narratives, suggesting their decline in the postmodern era. Instead, he proposes the rise of petite narratives, small stories that reflect individual experiences and perspectives. Moreover, Lyotard challenges traditional notions of knowledge, presenting it as something not universally fixed or absolute, but rather contingent upon language games and discourse communities. He pushes us to question the power dynamics that determine what knowledge is and who is allowed to possess it. In essence, Lyotard's The Postmodern Condition is a radical critique of modernity, a call to embrace the plurality of narratives and the diversity of knowledge. In the end, Lyotard leaves us questioning, what is the condition of our postmodern world?